Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Tom Nolan versus Alex Reyes. Tom Nolan, 7-1, and 4-1 and one in his last five fights. Mine is 1,100 favorite, 24 years old, 6'3", with a 73-inch reach. Fighting Alex Reyes, who's 13-4, and 3-2 and two in his last five fights, plus 700 underdog, 37 years old, 5'11", with a 73-inch reach. 4-inch, well actually, 5 inches in height for Tom Nolan. The biggest issue I have in this fight, well, for one, Alex Reyes has no wins in the UFC's 0-2. Now, he does have th uh, 13 finishes, never been to a decision that he's won. Uh, has uh, uh, 11 first-round finishes, as we see. The problem with that we've seen in the UFC, he's been finished both times in the UFC in the first round. Under a minute 30 by Mike Perry. Yes, this was good Mike Perry, but still... And then Charlie Campbell absolutely mauled him in the first round when he came back from his devastating, I think, like, infection or something like that. Again, the biggest issue for me in this matchup personally is that Tom Nolan in that first round isn't good. Um, I, he, he was dropped in his last one, even though he won against Victor Martinez, who's just bad. Victor Martinez is just bad. That's what he is. Did lose to Nicholas Moda. It's not as big as of like a stain on his record because Moda is good. He is a good striker. That is what he's known for. And he caught Tom Nolan sleeping on him. So there's that. I, I just don't see a way that Alex Reyes uses wins this. I don't think this fight's gonna go to the distance. I, I just I just don't. Um, I would assume Alex Reyes is gonna go in there and try to grapple him. Try to make it a grappling match. And I he doesn't have a ton of submissions. That doesn't mean you couldn't submit him. He has a lot more TKO wins, but we just haven't seen any of that in the UFC. And he's 37 years old. I just don't think his ability to absorb punishment is really there. So I like Tom Nolan a lot. He's a minus 1100 favorite. I do find a little bit ridiculous. But again, if you look at Alex Reyes, he's been bad in both UFC performances. So Tom Nolan, big train. The hype on him for me personally has gone down quite a bit just on these last two performances. Victor Martinez, again, is just not good. You can't be getting dropped by him. Now, I believe, yeah, he has five finishes, two decision wins in his career. Again, looked great like a tender series. Great. Just pick your shots, Tom. Calm down. Pick your shots. Stay good defensively and just get Alex Reyes out of there. Move on. So I like Tom Nolan. I think he gets a big finish. And as always, subscribe, like, comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.